World Suicide Prevention Day. So today is a very special day for me and many people around the world to highlight the importance of suicide and to let other people know that it's okay to speak about these thoughts, these feelings when it comes to one's own mental health. So let me take you on a little journey of why I want to speak about this. Because for me, I face these type of thoughts and feelings when I was going through a desperate time in my life, a difficult period when I split up with my girlfriend and you know for me I saw no other way out because what had happened, I like many other young men around the world, we tie up our whole identity within a relationship and we believe that who we are is a part of somebody else like for instance me with my girlfriend I believe like I was her my whole life was us and that's not the case like everybody needs to live their own separate unique life and of course we're gonna have people come along with them or with us along the journey but when it when you don't know who you truly are as a person and you rely on somebody else for your your happiness for instance and then they're not there anymore, is when you end up feeling these types of fear, these sort of suicidal and depressive thoughts and feelings. So, look, what I want to say to anyone that is potentially feeling any suicidal thoughts, for instance, is that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Overcome. So, always realise that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. And if you are going through these thoughts, these feelings, reach out for help. It's totally okay, totally fine to reach out and ask for help. And look, it's, it's okay to not be okay. It's just not okay to, not, to stay not okay. Like, I know so many people in the past that have just sat there feeling shit, feeling down, but not reaching out for help. And I was one of those people too. So for me, it was only until I'd become vulnerable and then did reach out did I began to then pull myself up and out of these depressive, suicidal thoughts and feelings and to actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. And personally, I believe that many people self-diagnose themselves with depression. But the truth is they're lacking direction. They have no clear vision, no goal, no, no sight of, say, a compelling future for themselves. And because of this... They feel that they're depressed. And look, I'm not saying you're lying if you feel, feel you're depressed. No. But just check first before you go and self-diagnose that you do have depression rather than just a lack of clarity, lack of vision, no goals for yourself. You're surrounded by shit people, negative surroundings, because all of these things can affect you so bad to the point that you believe that you have something really get around different people go to different places maybe leave a job leave a relationship and it's going to make you feel a lot lot better so number one for anyone that is maybe contemplating suicide really just sit down with a pen and paper and ask yourself how am i feeling and why am i feeling this way what has maybe potentially triggered me to feel this way because for me, when I was thinking all of this shit in my mind, I just made up so much crap within my mind, and it was only until I pulled out a pen and paper, I could sort of think on paper and un unload all of that crap that had been created within my mind by myself, could I then see it for what it truly is. So don't ever make... Like, see the situation for what it is. Don't ever make it worse than it is. Because, like, so many people, again, me included, we make a mountain out of a molehill. Like, we see... A potential problem that we have in our life and then we make this small problem into a huge thing and then after that it becomes so big we feel like we can never overcome it or get around it so see the problem or the issue for exactly what it is don't make it bigger than it is and then reach out for help there's so many people out there whether it's online in person you're going to be able to find people who can help and who do want to help you as well so don't ever feel that you're alone because you're not alone. Listen, we're living in a world of over 8 billion people now. I'm telling you, there might be one or two people that don't want to help you or don't want to support you. But I'm telling you, there are people out there who will support you. So don't ever keep it silenced and keep it all internal. Because when it stays in here, 
it's got nowhere to go and then it's going to come out and usually it will spill out all, all over the people that are trying to help you and the people that really love you most and that's what it done with me so I hope someone can take something away from this one today and the last thing that I'll say as well is a strategy called the HALT strategy H-A-L-T ask yourself am I hungry, angry, lonely or tired because quite often we just need to fix one of these little things in our life and then we feel a lot better as well so don't sit in there get moving get yourself up get yourself out go out in nature go for a walk like me now get out and get walking because motion creates emotion like when you're moving you feel better if you're sat at home on the sofa you're gonna feel shit you're in the same surroundings you're probably listening to the same people get yourself up get yourself away and go and seek other opportunities other people to surround yourself with and I'm sure you're going to get to the place where you ultimately want to be. But trust me, you're not alone. It isn't the end. There's so much more for you. Don't give up on yourself. Because as long as your beautiful heart is still beating, my friends, you're still in the game and you can still make that change. So if anyone needs any support with anything regarding mental health, regarding suicidal feelings, I'm always here. Send me a DM and I'll try and help you in any way that I possibly can, my friends. Have a great day. Speak soon. Bye-bye.